Some of the ancestors was killed, murdered, shot. They was just passing through and the men was looking for work so they thought they'd stop. And the station owner gave them the young men some a few days' work. It was late in the afternoon when uh, they was cooking, the ladies was cooking, kids running around. I just imagined kids running around and the big daddy sitting down on this tree, playing with talking to some of the kids. And then told that all of a sudden there was horses coming. Just ran over their fire and started shooting and using their bayonets on the kids and, and killing all the, the women. One little girl ran into a, a shack that one of the men lived in and um, the others, what they didn't kill, they just tied them by the neck, rope around their neck and let them and put them in the stockyards. They buried the babies up to their neck and just went and cut their heads off. And then they gathered up all their bodies and threw them you know, in one heap in a pit and threw wood on them and they set them alight. And when we first started here to set up the memorial, there was thousands of cockatoos, white ones. And as the, my family danced, the young teenage boys, grannies, as they danced, they, these cockatoos just rose up. They rose up and they flew around and round and round. And they squawked and squawked. And then it rained. And was, I believe that was tears of joy, tears of relief that somebody recognised them and remembered them. And to get the truth out there. It rained every year after that. And now that their, their souls is at rest, they're at peace, they're happy because we remember them. <laughs>